Speaking of liking the direction some some teams are going, San Diego State, I don't know if they are one of them. Yeah, they, they definitely took a huge step backwards last year. Yes, the the Aztecs under Brady Hoke, uh, four and four last year. They went ten and three the year before that with That's Rocky right. Long as the head coach. Uh, win total this year is six and a half. The over juiced at minus one hundred five. The under juiced at minus one twenty five. So they are expecting uh, six wins, not seven, in this spot as as the bookmakers expected. Um, schedule, you know, there's there's some toss ups here. There's some games that. You know, I, the entire front six returns on defense. Uh, there's a lot to change over in the secondary. That's going to be kind of an issue. Obviously, still running that three three five. That's right. Uh, that Rocky Long ran, but doing it with defensive coordinator Kurt Maddox and the defense is what kept them in. Games I was going to say the year. defense is what they've got. Yeah. Uh, this, is the, this is what they lean on. Yes, the offense struggled in 2020. Number one nineteen in efficiency. That is not good. Quarterback position still after spring, still up for grabs. Uh, lots of experienced skill players, but but how much talent is really on that side of the ball? What do the trenches look like? Yeah, I mean it, this is going to be this is going to be strange uh, for a conference that has you know a bunch of teams that are in like the top fifteen of returning production. San Diego State is number ninety eight, uh, bringing back seventy percent. Now typically that would be really good, but ninety eight in the country uh, that's that's not great. I'm going to go under the six and a half here. Uh, Hoke, I used to be a believer in Brady Hoke. Yeah, I'm and, not. I'm not gonna kill not, him for last yeah, year. I'm not fully out on him yet. But it's a weird COVID year to bring in, try to bring in a new offense. Yeah, yeah. I He's not an agree. offensive guy. No. So I mean, you know, they were keeping the defense from Rocky Long. That stayed good. I think that's gonna continue to to be what it is. Um, I don't like six and a half, but I'd probably I'd probably go over. Okay. I do think I'm. I'm I think I am a Brady Hope believer. I I can buy it. I mean, it, I'm obviously not confident in it, but I, I think they'll take a step forward. I think there are some other teams that'll take a step back. I think they get a couple of non-con games in here that aren't really scary. That that tends to make sense. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.